Hey there friends, Nathan at Simple Shot, and today I want to introduce you to the Axiom Slingshot. Now you might be asking, don't you already have an Axiom? Yeah, we've got a couple. So the Axiom was one of the original designs of flipping out slingshots, the company that predated Simple Shot. And the Axiom was one of my first designs, and it has stood the test of time admirably. Of course, we have the Axiom X, which is one of the first adjustable slingshots of its kind on the market. The Axiom Ocularis, which everyone knows is precious slingshot that I've won a lot of tournaments with. And the Axiom Champ, which is uh, well known worldwide as one of the most pocketable slingshots around. But the original Axiom, we haven't had around for a really long time. So what we wanted to do with this iteration is just bring back the classic Axiom in styling and sizing to fit today's modern shooter. So what we've got here is a very pocketable slingshot. So instead of having a full palm swell like a lot of our other slingshots, we added some very good texture to give you a locked in grip. We kept it at 90 mils on the forks. We added integrated clips and fiber optic sights. All of these things lend itself to being a much easier to use slingshot and it's built to the size that most modern slingshot shooters prefer. The slingshot's gonna come with a standard setup of a sample of clay and steel ammo, bands for clay and steel ammo, and the lollipop keychain. We'll go ahead and show you how quick and easy it is to put the bands on the Axiom slingshot. First thing you need to do is loosen up the clamps. Of course you can remove this tool from the lanyard if you wish, but there is enough room there to use it without doing so. So you simply want to open it up enough to allow the bands to slip in. Now while we're here on the clips, you might notice a little groove right at the top of the clip. No, that is not for sighting. That is to give you a reference of where your bands are oriented on the fork tip. If you're really particular about where your bands are seated, this gives you a visual reference to mark each side according to one another. I'm going to go ahead and put on the clay band set for these. And for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to tune these. Unless you have a very long draw, you will definitely want to tune your bands. So what I've done here is I'm going to keep the slingshot in the orientation where the target side of the slingshot, the side with the clips, is facing upwards. I'm going to then take my slingshot band and make sure the pouch is set up with the ears facing down. And this is the orientation that it's going to go onto the slingshot. So I'll lift the clips. Slip the bands into place. They can only go so far. Hold them in place with finger tension and then tighten them back up. Finger tight is just right. You don't have to honk down on them. Just nice and snug. Now we notice that we've still got this orientation with the pouch facing straight up. We're going to mimic that on the other side. Again, place your bands as deep as they'll go. Hold it in place with finger tension and lock it down with the tool. All right, now our bands are installed. Before you shoot the slingshot, make sure you test the bands away from your face. Give it a couple of good pulls, and make sure you've got them in the position. Now that your bands are installed, you're ready to go shoot. Always inspect your bands before shooting, while shooting, and after you're done. If you see any nicks or tears, go ahead and retire that band set. So this is the Axiom Slingshot from Simple Shot, a new classic revisited. One of my favorites, and I think it will be one of your favorites too. Check it out at Simple Shot. 